Hello and welcome to Destiny Digits. This is the reading for Soul Urge number one. So if you're watching this, you know that your Soul Urge number is one and you, that means that you are motivated uh, by being a leader, a trailblazer. You're very original and creative. You're unafraid to go alone, right? At times you could be seen as a lone wolf. Right? If we're thinking of like careers, we could be talking about consulting, you know, where you work with people um, as needed, but not consistently. You just do very well in your own energy. Oh, I got cards flying everywhere. Okay. Um, you're determined, you're ambitious. Um, and so that's what motivates you, right? That's what our soul urge number tells us. Um, and so you're just a very independent person, you're a go getter. Uh, so we're going to pull three oracle cards, and we'll see what our first messages are. Now when we're talking about the lower vibrations of, a, of, of one, we're talking about battling being dependent versus self-sufficient, right? First one is abundance. How beautiful is that? Abundance. Next card, happiness. Last, stillness. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, healing chaos. Healing chaos. Okay. So the healing chaos message, the overall message, talks about, you know, sometimes this, 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 this card makes me think of the tower card in tarot, right? How sometimes tarot uh, towers are welcomed and they're necessary, they're required, you know, and sometimes they're they're they can bring relief, especially when you know that things are in play that are really not for anyone's highest good, and it would do best. It would just it would just do everyone well, you know, if we were able to just destroy what was superficial and to begin again. And so nonetheless, in your life, if you feel like maybe you are in the center of the storm, you're still, but everything around you is going crazy, right? Your environment, people, places, things, everything kind of seems erratic. Or is everybody else kind of at peace, but then you feel like you are the tornado. Your life is kind of in disarray. Um, so consider that energy, but nonetheless, healing chaos, you know, once this storm passes, once everything settles, it's calm, it's peaceful, that allows you to collect yourself to rebuild again, right, and to start afresh. Now we have abundance here. Next to abundance, we have success. So like that's that's just clear, right? Abundance and success. There's no there's really nothing I can say about that, except for when you come out of this storm, right? When things settle, when things are clear, once you get through the unknowns, once the sun rises, right? And we can see and things are no longer dark or confusing, you will have achieved success and acquired abundance. Again, the same energy. Look at this, happiness and joy. I mean, these words are kind of like, you know, synonyms. They, But what does this mean? I feel like these are confirmations. I feel like this is spirit's way of saying these are two totally different decks, not related. But the messages are just so on point with each other, right? Happiness and joy. And so, Spirit is pretty much saying that anything that you were going after is yours. If you wanted happiness, you can feel joy knowing that you have it. If you wanted abundance, you can feel successful knowing that you've achieved it, right? Now, this last card we have here is stillness. And so maybe you are not feeling like you are the tornado, but maybe it's everything around you seems to be falling apart, but maybe things for you are actually quite beautiful and stable. And so maybe in this moment, spirit is saying that in this stillness, you know, you are able to download, to receive, to grow. You know, it's in this stillness that you are going to be able to see all that you truly have. We also have flexibility. 
right? So collect yourself, find stillness amidst the storm, whatever is kind of happening in life, right? Figure out a way to work with it, to become as comfortable with it as you can, because it is a process, but it's a process that brings you happiness, joy, success, abundance, right? But Spirit is saying that, you know, when when things are changing and shifting and new things are coming in and old things are leaving, you know, it requires us to be flexible with, with our life, with this experience. It requires us not to have expectations about what things should look like and feel like. And so maybe Spirit is saying, you know, as a way to secure yourself and to make sure that you are always on the right path, maybe that when there is chaos around you, when maybe you have made it through chaos, right? Maybe this is now just a period where you have you have to collect the, yourself. But nonetheless, Spirit is saying be flexible. And one of the ways in, in, in which flexibility can be put into play is through stillness by you just kind of stopping and not really acting bottom of the deck is past life. And so this energy, you know, any, any things that you've endured in your life that have seemed pretty tumultuous and, and not really something that you brought on directly by karma, you know, this could be energy carried over from a past life that you're rectifying, purifying and kind of moving through now. Right. And so this chaos is from the past life. But the beautiful thing is that when it does pass, not only have you healed, but you've also gained all that that has been waiting for you. So the first card out is the Knight of Swords, and this is the energy of pursuing truth, clarity. This is, you know, chasing chasing understanding. This is leading your life um, by the sword. And that sword represents your principles, um, what you stand for, you know, and anything that doesn't match up or align to what you know to be right, correct, and true, um, you know, make it cut out. Also, let's just look at the speed of this night, the trees, the clouds, you can see motion and the feather in his hat and the mane of the horse's head. This is fast. This is quick, right? And so when we're talking about abundance and success, you know, this change, this newness is coming in quickly. It's coming in because you've honored your truth, but also because you figured out a way to tame yourself in the darkest moments of life, right? You never lost your ability to know that even though things are uncomfortable, I can get through it and I can expect something greater beyond this moment, right? And so you never lost success. You never lost the sight of success, even if it wasn't directly present in your life. And I think understanding how to, how to conquer our own energy when we are going through lack, or turmoil is is really a testament to who we are. You know, how do we get through these moments? And how do we come out? How do we approach them? So nonetheless, you just realize that 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 not only do you have a strength to really, you know, conquer the uncomfortable and the unknown, but you also have integrity. Uh you are convicted, right? And you are not stopping until you achieve whatever it is you desire, right? The world is in your hands. We're looking at the two of wands. The world is literally in your hands. Whatever it is you see for yourself or imagine in your mind is yours. And spirit is saying, listen, you've balanced out this past life karma. The chaos you've endured, the things that you've had to go through, it wasn't for naught right? Now the beautiful comes to you. And this is the abundance. This is a success as a result of your strength. Uh, in the center of the deck, we have judgment. So this really is a massive time energetically in, in your soul's story, right? You know, in the past, you may have been afraid to approach life just because of the challenges that you had been through. You may have felt a little beat up, a little wounded, a little stressed, fearful that that happiness may have not been available to you 
based on what you endured, right? You you passionately showed up to things. You invested yourself into people, places, and things. Um, you know, but it left you with lessons, but maybe not the successes that you really desired. But that's what now is for, right? And so if you were in this nine of wands energy, spirit is saying that happiness is yours. Right, this chaos that put you in this nine of 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 wands, this stress, you know, this is this is fleeting. This is something that is not forever. This is not an energy that you are to stay in. This is something that must pass in order for your happiness to come in. You have to be ready to embrace what comes next. We have uh, we already talked about judgment, so this is a period of really calling things into order. Right. This is where we everybody needs to be held to their own accountability for what was done, what was not done. You know, this is where all the things that were done in the dark behind the scenes really matter. Um, sometimes I like to think of credit and spiritual credit. You know, sometimes maybe life isn't packaged in a way that's beautiful and comfortable. But just by being a good person with a good heart, I feel like you there just like there's a financial credit system, there's a spiritual credit system. And no matter what you endure, if you can always maintain integrity and just purity, I feel like those are the energies that store up, excuse me, <clears throat> in a warehouse somewhere. And then they come back around to you in divine timing. And this seems like that is what's happening for you. So after this judgment card, we have nine of wands. And this is about joyfully pursuing something that you are just on fire and passionate about. Right. So this is like you've you've gotten your joy back. This judgment has done something. You've been recognized. You've been promoted or elevated. Something in your life has shifted where you can obviously see, OK, this thing may be moving in my direction. Right. If I felt fearful, it's OK to release that now because happiness is, is literally in front of me. And and I am open and free to pursue all things that bring me joy. You know, this is my time to have anything that I saw in my mind. Beneath the nine of wands, we have the devil. And that talks about just a toxic energy, just something that holds us back, that restricts us, that makes us feel chained or less than. Um, and then we have stillness. And so I feel like, you know, sometimes this makes me think, what is that saying? Idle, idle, idle minds, idle hand. I'm not going to get it right, but I can summarize it. You know, pretty much when, and I think of children when I think of this, but this is really for any, any of us. But, you know, when we don't have anything to do, our energy can be used for possibly something not good. The probability of doing something not, you know, in our best interest is higher when we don't have anything constructive to do. So it's always good to stay focused, to stay on task and to stay busy so that we don't have um, a likelihood of becoming attached to something that's just not really necessary for our growth. Right. And so I think that in stillness, by sitting still. You can break free of something that maybe you were attached to or tied to. But at the same time, you know, so it takes stillness to reflect on self, right? So when spirit is saying, you know, things may be, you may feel like life is, there's, it's almost like a pause, right? You're, you're like the, the, the switch is about to flick, but there's just a pause. So be flexible, be still, but there's something with this devil energy. It is in this stillness that this that this devil energy was prevalent for you. And this is this is in the past. So maybe you felt stuck, maybe you felt stunted, you know, maybe you felt like you couldn't overcome um, a tie, something toxic, something that you were bound to, right? 
but you are this empress. You are this person who can create, who can pursue, who can nurture, who can give life, right? Who can manifest ideas, right? Like that's your energy. But it's hard for you to establish what, what matters most to you if there's something toxic in your environment or attached to a person, place, thing, you know, that you're also attached to. So I feel like there was judgment called on the purity of your energy. Maybe there was something that you were a part of. Um, the Four of Wands can talk about relationships, but it's really about anything that you were attempting to build um, that you thought it was stable. So this could be a union, it could be a family, it could be an organization, it could just be anything where you applied hard work and effort, right? And because you wanted to see success. And the Empress is a nurturer, that's a, that's a birther, a creator. But then this devil energy says that, you know, maybe you had to learn how to be flexible with your own ability. Um, which is why this devil energy was significant. Like even when we go through toxic things or painful things, um, those moments don't feel good, but they're necessary for us, right? So I feel like maybe it is in it is in um, it is it is through this devil it is through this devil energy that you had to endure, whether it was within you, on you, attached to you, or or attached to someone that you had to you you know you had to go against in some way. I think you realized your own ability and who you really were as this empress by just even being in that space, right? And I think you learned to be flexible with yourself. I think you learned to nurture yourself through something, beyond something, right? Because to, because you, there's something that you want to do. There's something that you want to establish, to have, and to create in your life. So I did have a few extra cards come out. We have temperance, justice. Okay. So temperance is, is you know, normally it shows itself when something is not balanced. Something is, is not aligned. Something is not in harmony. Um, and then we have justice, right? And so if something in our life is not not as it should be, the divine, you know, we, we are, you know, everything is in divine order. It will kind of naturally work itself, work itself through us in our life, and then we can kind of correct the situation. So we have the energy of the five of swords, which is kind of like this feeling of always feeling like things are a battle and you're dealing with loss, you know, like this. It's just a losing battle. Um, but then justice comes in to restore because, you know, these moments are not supposed to be forever. Yes, we have failures. Yes, we have losses in life. But those are not supposed to last for our for our, our entire existence. Those are supposed to pass. Those are supposed to give us lessons. And then we're supposed to have different experiences. But if this was the energy that you felt trapped in for some time, then I feel that's where the judgment was necessary. You know, judgment was called spiritually, divine judgment was called to help you rectify things. Um, and, and this is past life. So we're talking about past life energy, acting, showing itself in present life energy, right? And maybe you you felt like you were up against something where where you were losing was the only option to you, but then here comes the divine. Here comes temperance. They bring harmony. They bring justice. They restore. And then this is the current story that we're in, right? So this judgment balances you. It opens you up to joy, to happiness, success, and abundance are available to you now because you were able to tame all aspects of self, no matter what you had to endure, and you realized that you were stronger than you knew. Even if you didn't know that this chaos, this turmoil, these storms, these challenges and obstacles were really energies that you were just purifying and working through from past life misuse, misuses of energy, right? But nonetheless, you are this emperor and you had to break free of something that was stopping you from showing up in your power, your ability and your strength. Right. You 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 may have not been able to know that you are creator. You can birth anything. 
right? And so if it is something that you want to build, if it's if there is something that you see, something that you know you want to have, desire, the universe is saying that it's 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 open to you. The success is yours, right? And it's your energy, it's your joy, it's your passion, it's how you show up to it that matters. You know, it matters how you show up to what it is you desire most because that energy is almost like fuel. It's like gasoline, right? It propels, it it ignites, um, you know? So if this is, is about you creating something new in your life after overcoming periods um, of loss and defeat and challenge and struggle, clearly abundant success, happiness, joy. It is yours. It is absolutely yours. And nothing is, is, is not for not. It was all for something. And it was truly all for your gain. So in this sense, the struggle was necessary. Um, and you persevered and, and you have so much to look forward to. So much to look forward to. Okay, once hopefully something in there was useful. Thank you so much for stopping by and take care.